All right, everyone, welcome back to the Motive Anatomy. So today we're introducing you to the new daily driver slash project. Um, as you guys may know, I've been looking for a TSX forever, couldn't find one. Um, I guess I'll keep looking. Um, no, the, the reality is that I could find some, but I, I wasn't willing to pay what they were asking. The, they're definitely holding up their value, and I think they even have a little bit more of a, of a tax on them, to be honest with you. But anyways, today we're not here to talk about TSX. We're talking about this 1994 Honda Accord LX sedan I absolutely love. Um, yeah, man, I, you guys know how I love a CD chassis, and that was definitely one of the chassis that I really, really, really wanted. Reason why, and as you guys can see the first example, I have a few leftover parts. Now, the car came with stock headlights, <laughs> as you guys can tell. I have, uh, I'm missing one of the corners. Uh, so, l let me give you a little backstory. So, I found this, this, this car on, on Craigslist. Uh, but the guy posted on the auto parts. He didn't post it on the cars. And so it sat there for at least three weeks. And, and I was like, man, it looks very clean. Uh, high mileage. We'll get into that. But the story behind it is pretty cool. So the ad said, um, my dad is the original owner. He obviously passed away. So I, I'm the one who owns it now. And it has 292,000 miles, but all service records. And so obviously he didn't take pictures of the service records. And they always say that and you think, well, I'm going to go check it out. Maybe it does have it. Maybe it doesn't. It sat for three weeks uh, on Craigslist. I kept eyeing it back. He took it off for a little bit. Then he reposted it. And I was like, man, should, should I go check it out? Keep in mind, I was looking for a wagon, manual wagon, a cord, TSX, um, anything that was clean and within my, you know, my budget because I'm pretty cheap. I'm not going to lie. So anyways, I ended up, uh, you know, saying, hell, I, I, I need a car because at this time my, uh, my wife got a new job. And so now she's not working from home. Now she's working at the actual site. So I needed a new car. And it comes down to the last weekend. She's going to start work on Monday. It's Friday. I hit up the guy. Can I go check it out tomorrow? He says, sure. Well, obviously, once I get there, um, the car was in rough shape, especially the hood. This is not the original hood. I'll get into that as well. The clear on it was completely shot. I mean, it was pretty bad. Obviously, the top is already shot. Here, you can see the clear is gone on the sides, on the door. And I wasn't going for something pretty. I was going for something mechanically that was, was good. So anyways, um, I showed up to this guy. It was about a 50-minute drive. And it's a very, very nice area. You know, I'm like, okay, that's good. Not like it matters, but I don't think people that live in a nice area will not take care of their cars, right? So anyways, uh, I end up going to that, uh, to that area. I test drive it by myself. Uh, it feels good. I don't know. I don't know how a 1994 Honda Accord should not, you know, feel or should feel. Um, I do a little test drive. It does shake on, on like 40 miles an hour, something on linemen, rotors, maybe something's uh, loose, whatever the case may be. I'm just thinking leverage so I can lower the, 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 the price on it, right? And so anyways, um, I, I talked to the guy. He wanted 1800 I said, you know, there's a little bit of vibration. Um, I said, have you done the, the clutch? And he says, no, it's original clutch. Okay. And then I noticed that in the back, there was a whole bunch of papers. I'm like, are those the service records? And he goes, yeah. So he shows me and all the oil changes are through um, Jiffy Lube. Uh, but all the major things have been done at the dealership. And I'm looking, it does match the VIN and the number, uh, the, the, the year of the car. So it is this car that they're taking to the dealership. He's like, my dad bought it in 1994 after her his previous one got in an accident he went and bought this one brand new and we've had it ever since the family and all of a sudden um you know he passed away many years back and i think i'm ready to let it go i think it was more of an emotional thing i drive it here and there um that's why the battery i didn't turn it off because it might not turn on but the battery is good everything's good it's just i don't drive it i said okay no problem um i said i don't want to lowball you just because i do I did take in consideration uh, the emotional attachment to it. So I said, um, would you take 1400? He goes, I'll take 1500. Cool, no problem. So I paid 1500 for it, 292, yes, yes. I know I know that there's somebody out there that knows somebody that knows somebody that could have got it for way cheaper. I know that you know of a cousin, of a brother, nephew, sister, neighbor that had one that bought it for 500 bucks, mint condition, I get it, right? I needed a car, I wanted an Accord chassis, and, and I ended up getting this one for 1500. And I absolutely been freaking loving it. I can't even deny how much. I was about to go get a very, you know, nice car, like an M3. Um, 
or an Evo or a brand new STI, but I was like, meh, I want something that I can put my parts into. So anyways, like I mentioned, LX, it, it, it came with the EX wheels. So, bada boom, you know, wheels, tires, uh, very nice tires, Federal in the front, P uh, Pirelli in the back, if I'm not mistaken, yep. So, uh, a, lot of, a lot of life on them, so I'm, I'm stoked about that. You know, paint, it is what it is, there's some fading, can't, you know, it is what it is, I don't mind it. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, I would have loved a 96, 97 um, for the rear lights, uh, but it didn't happen, and I'm okay with that. So anyways, one of the things that um, ended up happening was my buddy posted his, uh, his uh, red coupe. And he said, anybody wants interior pieces and any panels from uh, outside because uh, before it goes to the junk, to the junkyard. And I was like, wait, the whole cars went to the junkyard? He goes, yes. I'm like, dude, like why? Uh, wiring issues, whatever. But anyways, he ended up having this mint hood. So I, I ended up driving. The, the very first reason why I drove over there was because of my seat. One of the major flaws that this car had was that this bolster was completely like it, it didn't exist anymore. So I was driving kind of like sideways. I felt like I was I was like lean with it, you know, and I was like, mm. but my buddy had the interior and I said, hey, man, like, um, would you be down to to let me have it? He goes, yeah, no, 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 don't trip. Um, it was going to go to the Yonker either way. So I drove about 40, 40 minutes to L.A. And while I was there, I noticed he's uh, he's hood. Now, when I get really close, you're gonna be able to see that it has a different tone. This one's a little darker than this. But I mean, if I didn't tell you guys, you most of you would have been like, eh, I can't see it. it. It looks fine. But anyways, yeah, I ended up. Uh, I said, "F it, man. Let's swap the, the the hood. Might as well." He goes, "All right, cool." So we swapped the hood, um, and so now that's matching a little bit better. The little clear. I'm cool with that. I don't really mind to be honest with you guys. And then so I swapped. I swapped that out. And so and then I'm like, okay, what else do I have? So I hit up my buddy Mauricio. My buddy Mauricio, um, uh, he's really good at working on cars. And I had these Black House headlights. They're Depot. I, I don't really care to run um, rap or not. I, that's just my, it's always been my take. I don't care. And anyways, one of them, which I think was this one, the wiring wasn't working. So I hit him up my head, man, would you be uh, down to help me? Or I can just sell them and pick up new ones. Um, he's like, no, 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 come through. We'll, we'll get, we'll get you situated. So I did. He ended up giving me the harnesses from his actually Stanley uh, Clear Europe um, Clear uh, headlights. So he hooked me up with that, and then I had one corner, but I couldn't find the other corner. So that's why he hacked up, he hacked up something real quick, and so he put this one because this one doesn't actually fit uh, with the bracket for the depot. So he ended up grinding some stuff out, and so he was making fun of me. He's like, I'm gonna be the first one to put you on blast for that corner. <laughs> Um, the lip, it came with it. I, I'm assuming uh, it ripped at some point. It's the fake Type R, the one that flares out. You guys can probably see a little bit more from here, as you guys can tell. It flares out, which I'm cool with, I don't mind. Uh, and then it has a 94, 95, obviously. I was thinking about going 96, 97 and getting a 94, 95 lip, just for daily driving and it looks cleaner. One of the things that I absolutely love, that I don't know if anybody cares for, is this little trim right here. This little plastic trim, I'm in love with it. Actually, this is the first time that I ever had anybody uh, preserve it. I haven't seen any car with it, um, at least that I that I've been able to, you know, come in person. I know obviously a lot of people have it, but I haven't seen it myself. And that was a big plus. So I'm like, okay, cool. It's kept OEM, obviously stock height. Um, it's good. It's good, right? So I already replaced the headlights. Uh, well, Mauricio replaced the headlights. I was pretending there to be doing some work. Hood has been replaced with the help of my buddy. And then uh, from the interior. Interior is nothing crazy. It's an LX, it's gray, which I really like. I didn't want the tan. Um, so I'm very happy with it. Also, Mauricio gave me some floor mats. These are pretty clean, so he gave me that. Um, and yeah, OEM stereo, which I absolutely love. I don't want anything else. Uh, the antenna is pretty gangster. It goes up and down, um, which is cool. It's an LX, you know? Five speed, and then that's pretty cool in the back. Um, they must have done it custom made. It matches the color. It's a little, little cover, and I really like it. Seats need to be clean. They're pretty filthy, but nobody really sits back here, at least with me. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty dope. Um, like I said, two hundred ninety-two thousand miles. So it's definitely seen. It's definitely seen a, 
a couple of years on the road but for what it is and for what i'm using it which i've been driving in it quite a bit you know the the, the motor engine compartment was super dirty i did end up doing a wash on it so i did record myself washing the car uh so i'll be able to make another video off of that and i'll, I'll share with you guys on a wash and talk as you guys can tell it's leaking a little bit um everything else is bone dry down down in the transmission engine it's bone dry so i that that was one of the major plus um seems to be dry here from the braking system i don't see anything else i mean there's a little bit of uh leaking there i think from the valve cover i know this little o-ring um it's leaking as you guys can tell um starting starts like a dime it's beautiful it's a leg so obviously it doesn't come with the abs and all that quote-unquote good stuff um the radiator has been replaced a few little knitting you know little pieces here and there have been replaced but um overall all the bolts are there which is pretty much what you want out of it and i'm planning to keep it like this it's it's really good it, it's great on gas um like I said, it's really great on gas and at the time of this recording, I've almost, I'm almost, I'm down to one fourth of uh, the gas and I'm close to 300,000, 300 miles. So I don't know, I maybe gets like 320, 350 per tank. It's a freaking tank. It's awesome. It's not fast, but I like it. Um, so yeah, let's go take it out for a drive. Alrighty, so now that we're here, uh, let's go take it for a test drive. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. There you go. Cool. All right, so let's go take it for a test drive. Let's see how it drives. It does have an exhaust leak, uh, and I think it's from the exit manifold. Um, my brother was able to diagnose that right away as soon as he saw that. Um, but I'm gonna hit up the, the junkyard and hopefully we can get that resolved fairly easily. Um, I, at one point I actually wanted a DX uh, For those that may not know the DX model um, It's completely the the most base model and it doesn't come with electric windows and I mean it is what it is. This one's an LX and it has electric windows. I'm not Upset about it, but I don't know maybe hang out with a whole bunch of uh, Civic dudes that have all manual windows rubbed off on me and I kind of wanted that but anyways so, like I said, clutch is very, it's, it's good, it's bitey, uh, it does, it, 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 you need a little bit of strength to, to push the clutch, and that's something that I really like, um, not like super strength, it's not stage 3 or anything, um, but I didn't want it to be super soft, it engages perfectly, um, it's not like my buddy, my buddy's a clutch who's, uh, was definitely out and about, I mean, you would take out the whole entire leg and it still wasn't engaging, um, this one's not the case as you guys can hear it doesn't have many sounds um, nothing squeaking uh, here and there uh, in the morning especially when it's cold the, the, tr the transmission needs a little bit of wiggling um, that way all the gears go in and there's no issues uh, but like anything I think that the, the STI did it, it would grind on second gear uh, when it was really cold and a little bit of just moving the shifter before starting to drive that kind of seemed to fix the issue um plans for it. it obviously it's my daily driver and and while during the time of this recording jackie's getting some work done by my buddy francisco follow him at cb7 mata m-a-t-a if you're in oc la ie honestly definitely recommend his work it's worth the drive if you're from la or oc um he does paint he does electrical he does obviously manual swap something that jackie's getting done uh he's doing the engine bay painting prepping everything he does himself at his own shop and so uh that car is getting that done what about for this one so one of the reasons why i really really wanted an accord cd is because then i have a couple parts to transfer over like the headlights um i have some mud flaps that i'm going to be adding to this car um suspension was was a big thing i have some spare suspension like i box springs but even even back then when I, I that was my second set of suspension I never liked I love the way it, it drove the handle I just didn't like the um, the height and obviously with springs you can adjust the height and that was gonna be a big no-no so suspension wise uh, I end up I ended up uh, ordering fortune auto coilovers 
and those when they get here they're gonna go on jackie and then i'm gonna take the ground control slash coney yellow uh strut setup and we're gonna put it on this one plug and play no worries the rear camber kit prior to taking it to my buddy francisco um I had purchased a, a set of Megan rear camber kit. So that means that the Wicked Arm uh, rear camber kit that I ran on Jackie for the longest, that one's available. They'll go here. I don't suspect any issues with it. So that's gonna be the suspension setup for this one. Obviously I ordered the suspension about a week ago. They told me it was gonna be about a month wait. Um, so we'll see when this car gets lower. It's gonna be a while until it gets lower. I'm in no rush though, as much as I wanna see her lower, um, because I'm, like you guys can tell, I freaking love this car, man. I, I really, really do. I don't know what it is about it. I it, It's small, it's 90s, it's, it's cool, man. Uh, <laughs> like that guy just passed me, he's, I think he's an M3, I don't think he's an M3. Just gives me a look like, get, a, get away uh, from my, get, get off my way you little honda and i love it man this is this is like <laughs> so i can't wait to lower obviously but for now i'm enjoying her in the in her current situation which is stock and uh now so we're obviously gonna lower her wheels i really like the way the regas the regas the riga masters look on jackie i really like that and part of the problem that if you're gonna run that wheel then you're gonna run a wider wheel like it is the m7s or even the jet lines is you have to do a lot of adjustments to the suspension not only height wise but camber kit wise i don't want to be doing that every single time so uh what i'm gonna do and i know uh, some of you guys are gonna be like what you're gonna put those wheels on the ugly car i really don't care uh i'm gonna put them sevens on this car and so the camber kit's already set to um to the by my in my opinion the best uh, specification for the wheels i'm gonna see if i can still adjust a little bit so i can run at the least amount of camber as possible i'm still gonna be running a very uh beefy tire setup on that um some of you may be wondering like why are you doing that to a daily it's not it's no longer gonna be a daily it's gonna be uncomfortable to drive i get it um and i and i actually i understand it and i agree i think that it's uh, completely um uh not the best decision or the smartest but um yeah i mean ultimately do what makes you happy right and so 292,000 on, on the clock 298 on this tank and i still have about a quarter tank to go uh it's great on gas it it moves um i know that there's a lot of things i will probably will be needing to replace especially when i lower and i start messing with all that suspension stuff um other than that m7s are gonna go here like i mentioned uh, I ended up ordering new corners because I, I thought that um, I didn't have any, but it turns out I had some. So I'm gonna have those, and you can never have too many spare parts, right? And I think that's gonna be it. I mean, I still have to get tires for the M7s. I need to polish them. One of them came back. I fixed the inner barrel, so that's gonna take care of that. Mm, what else? And then the jet lines. I think all of them have tires, so I technically could run the jet lines as well on this one. Um, and we'll see, uh, like I mentioned, body-wise, I think I'm gonna eventually go with the 96, 97 bumper up front and the 94, 95 um, lip, just because I seem to feel like that's the best uh, way to go about it, but I, 94, 95 doesn't bother me for now. Anyways, what else, what else? I can't think of anything else, man. Uh, aside from the, uh, I'm dumb and I name my cars and i get emotionally attached and so i guess welcome to you know the video meeting rosie and this is going to be rosie and <laughs> once you name a car then you become attached to the car in some way somehow and then uh, you start pouring more money than you probably should <laughs> and then it makes it very hard to leave and part ways but uh yeah man i'm super stoked with rosie i, I yeah it, it's 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 pretty cool um I already changed the window wipers because it's uh, the windshield wipers just because it's gonna rain uh, and by rain probably drizzle but we, we Californians don't know how to drive in rain so we, we lose our shit <laughs> even if it just drizzles a little bit but um, yeah man I'm super stoked uh, thank you thank you if you made it this far uh, I know I know there's some of you that will always be super supportive um, I hope it doesn't disappoint when it comes to this car but 
yeah uh suspension wheels on this car and then jackie um she's getting so much work done on on the engine bay and part replacement and all that good stuff she's gonna look pretty cool as well and so obviously once that gets all situated i'll make a video and we'll go from there but for now thank you so much for the love and the support um as always we go for the car we sit for the person much love appreciation and we'll catch you guys in the next one <laughs> i'm a race car driver now <laughs>